Hey everyone, welcome to another class in our Yoga for Resilience series. We're on mindfulness today, and just to warn you, you might need to pause the video in a couple of seconds, um, because for today, I want you to think of some things in your life that have gone badly by your own description, things that haven't gone as well as you like, and I also want you to think of some things in your life that have gone well. These could be big things, these could be little things, this could be, oh, I forgot to take my bags to the supermarket, uh, or I graduated university. Any Anywhere on the, on the spectrum is fine, just a couple of things that have gone badly, a couple of things have gone well. Uh, write them down so you don't have to remember them, and you're, you know, if you're trying to remember them, you're trying to hold all these things in your mind, and you're trying to listen to me and pay attention. So uh, just pause the video here and make a little list, write a little list down. You can do it on your phone if you don't have any pen and paper to handy, just grab the notes app on your phone, whatever works for you. Uh, and then once you have those, then we'll get going. So I'll just have uh, an awkward pause here to give you a chance to pause the video and do that. Okay, so hopefully you've uh, got your list and you've unpaused and you're ready to go. Uh, so come down into however you're gonna to practice today. If you're on the mat, if you're seated, if you're lying down, whatever is working for you. And as we always do, just take a moment to arrive into this lesson, allowing all of the stuff that's going on in, in the rest of your life to, to fade away and just say, okay, I'm going to give myself this, this next 30 minutes, whatever it is, just to focus on this practice, just to do some self-care as I've promised myself. And start by bringing your attention to your breath. Not doing any kind of special breathing here, just noticing what's going on. And then the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to start bringing some of the stuff we put on our things that have gone badly list to mind. So whatever you've written of things that didn't really turn out what you wanted, I want you to bring each of those to mind in turn. And as you do, I want you to notice what happens in your body. So uh, when you think about it, are there any other thoughts connected? Is there a is there a physical sensation? Do you start slouching? Does your posture go down? Does your body feel heavily? And what emotions are generated there? Is there um, disappointment, sadness, shame, embarrassment? Try and, try and put a label on them. Um, so we're not looking to generate any, any emotions or any physical sensations here. We're just looking to connect this idea that actually when we think about things, that we don't think have gone very well in our lives, there tends to be this automatic reaction that we don't always notice. And so what we're doing here is deliberately bringing them to mind and then identifying what's happening. So we're saying, oh yeah, I do, I feel heavy and I feel embarrassed. And those are things that are always going on when I think about this, but now I'm really paying attention to them. Now I'm noticing them because when we, again, when we bring this stuff to awareness, that's when we can do something about it. Or even just noticing that it's happening kind of changes our view of it and takes some of the sting away from it. So I hope that makes sense now. I'll, I'll give you a bit of time to, to bring those things to mind and just notice what goes on as you do.
just to give you an example here, a couple of things I'm thinking about is back a long time ago when I did my bachelor's degree, I failed one of the exams for a module. And when I bring that to mind, I, there's a lot of thoughts about, oh, you're stupid, you didn't really understand it. What were you, what were you even doing trying to understand all this complicated AI stuff? And so as well as that, then there's kind of a, an ache in my back and a, a, a heaviness to, to my chest. And then another example I might bring to mind is why I said something embarrassing in a conversation. When I think about that, there's, there's a, oh, why did I say that? And there's like a physical shudder and feeling of embarrassment that comes with it. So that's the kind of things you're looking out for as you bring these things to mind. And again, it's not about inventing sensations. It's just about bringing some labels, bringing some awareness to these automatic processes that are happening to us all the time. Now moderate the intensity. If, if something on your list is feeling too painful, then just get rid of it. We're not, we're not trying to push ourselves so far. In many ways, um, a fairly gentle example is great because it shows us that connection without us having to dig up memories that are too painful at the moment. So hopefully you've had a good go at this exercise. You've brought up some, some things that went badly and you've noticed what happens in your body and in your mind when you bring these to mind. And the reason that we want to identify these is th this is all baggage that we're carrying around. This is all extra load. It's not just that you know something happened and we were a bit embarrassed about at the time, but actually even now we're still carrying around that that baggage of embarrassment and it has a has an effect on our mind it has an effect on our body so now i want you to switch it up and i want you to bring some of the the things on your list that the kind of good times so things in your life that've gone well things in your life that are proud of and again i want you to notice what kind of effect those have on your body so if you bring one of those things you're really proud of to mind what kind of thoughts come along with that? What kind of emotions, what kind of physical sensations? So again, to give you some examples here, the kind of things I'm thinking about is I have, when I finish my first Ironman triathlon, when I bring that, it's, it's not just that I felt good at the time, it's that when I think about it now, I feel like 
I'm strong, I'm, I can do, I can achieve much more than I think, I can persevere, I can really rise to the occasion. Or uh, when I think about completing my psychology degree, I think about, actually I felt, feel really good, really capable, really clever. Again, maybe it's something far smaller. Maybe it's um, I'm trying out a new recipe today. And when I think about that, it, everything just, my body feels a bit lighter, feels engaged, it feels like I'm having fun. Just bring the attention back to your breath briefly. Gently blink the eyes open. And just reflect for a minute on how you felt when you were bringing those good memories, those things that had gone well to mind. Did you feel more hope, more confident, more capable? Did you feel stronger? And if so, how could that be a useful tool in our lives when we're needing to build that hope and confidence that we can conquer the problem when we need that resilience is there any are there any memories or any times any achievements any things in your life that you can bring to mind that could be helpful in that that's all for today's class and i can't wait to see you in the next one